Or as you can see, I've actually cut a little. But that's actually, you, okay, let's see if I can show. This is what you want. You don't want any, like, cracks in it. Or it didn't get glued enough, because that's obviously not good. So if there's holes in it, you might want to try to pour some glue and try to kind of clamp it over that spot. But anyway, so now we're going to cut it out. Um, I don't really have any tips to cut it out. Just be careful, you know, cut close to the line. Saws you can use. Band saw is a nice one. That thing over there. Um, I'm using a saber saw or its cousin, a jigsaw. Seems to work fine. So, um, yeah, let's cut this thing out. So I actually just changed my mind. I'm not going to cut it out yet. For one reason. It could be too much work. Um, drop throughs can sometimes get jank. I've met them before, but I don't get really screwed up. So I'm just going to practice on a practice piece and then do it on here. And if that doesn't work yet, then I haven't wasted time cutting the whole thing out. But anyways, I if you're going to do a drop through, I'd suggest practicing two first. So anyways, whatever, if this is your drop through, or this is your practice sheet, like this square piece of wood. So what you can do, you have the drawing, and then you're going to get a three, well, a drill bit that's as big as your saw blade. So, yeah. And obviously this does not work with like a band saw, so you have to get a saber saw or a jigsaw. But anyways, mine's three eighth, and it fits this blade. And I'm just going to drill it right next to that line, you see, it's right next to the line. And so now that you've done that, you can stick your saw in. You can't see that. Well, there's no way for you to see that, obviously. Um, whatever, you'll stick your saw in, so then you can just cut down here, and then cut up here. And so, and you'll do that for both sides. So then you'll just have these outside parts in this thing. And then you're gonna drill another hole at the top, it'll probably have to be a bunch of holes to get around. It's like one here, one here, one here. Then drill a hole probably here, 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 here. And obviously don't go outside the lines. You want the hole to be right at the edge of the line. Then you just stick your saw in and cut it off. Okay, so obviously when you're done it shouldn't look like this, but I've kind of just cover what you need to do. Obviously, I still need to um, saw that off and here, but it's the same process as doing that. Um, it's just all kind of eyeing it, really, but this is a bad thing to practice on. Kind of falling apart, so I can't really do any more to it, but this is kind of the basic. I hope if you, I, I hope you get the idea, I guess. If you don't, obviously, just put it in the comment section. Hopefully, I'll but yeah, and besides, I'll probably show you a little when I do it on the regular one. But anyways, so now I'm actually going to do it on the long board. So let's hope I don't fuck it up. Okay, so I finished the first drop. And it didn't turn out halfway bad. Um, still need some cleaning up with sanding. I've tried to, what you're going to want to do if you have a drop through, just take some grip tape, sandpaper, and just go all around it, you know. And under, don't forget under, and just smooth it out. So I still do the second half, but I'm not really going to film that because you get the point, hopefully, already. And um, then I'm going to do the bolt holes. And. Usually you'd probably want to sand and stuff first, but um, oh this is jam. Jesus, I'm gonna fiberglass. That's what I'm doing. So that's why I'm doing these first before I fiberglass. Then I'll cut it out, fiberglass, and then sand. Okay, so I got both dropsters out, and I actually decided not to do the bolt holes yet. I was cut it out first. I don't really have any tips to cut on a board, you know, just like common sense, just cut close to the lines, um, clamp it down, if I were you, I'd start with the sides first, and then go into this. See, so yeah, I guess I'll film a little bit, I probably won't film all that, because hopefully it's common knowledge to y'all.
So the final step before you go to the finishing process would be putting the bolt holes in if you haven't already. And basically there's two different ways I guess. So there's more, but I'm going to show you two that are pretty easy. The easiest would just be to take your truck, and I recommend this more if you're doing a drop through, just so you know everything lines up. I mean, you can do it for regular whatnot. But anyway, since I'm doing a drop through, I just try to make sure the truck was in the center. So I drilled the two holes, and then I marked, I put the truck through, and then I marked the holes that I wanted, and I drew two holes in the back. And then I put, put the truck back in, put two screws down, so now I have kind of a template, and then I just put the drill. Oh shoot. I just put the drill like that through the hole and drilled a little, and now I'll take it off. Take the base plate out and finish it. Um, so that's one way. Obviously, if you're doing a top mount, tad different. So you probably draw the center line on your top sheet. Um, you can try to find the center right here. Or you can just eyeball it, I mean. Just look what looks good. And you just set that on top and drill through and whatever. You can do the same method I did with the drop through. Now if you want a more precise method maybe, they do on church if you go to churchill.com they actually offer um, it's a metal template, so it can be destroyed. It's very useful. Um, well, looks very useful. Probably is. Um, I haven't bought one, but I'll probably plan to in the future. But anyways, if you go to Silverfish Longboards or Silverfish Longboarding, um, I'll put a link in the description. Then go to Downloads and Templates. You'll find this bolt hole template. It'll look like that. So you print that off. Make sure line it up with the um, base plate. So make sure it uh, looks right. Now what you can do is you'll see it has the center line down the middle. And if you might have to extend it, so just put a ruler, draw that, draw it so it's a straight edge. So what you'll do is line it up where you want your bolt holes to be. Line up with the line, tape that side down, and it goes over. But so and then tape the other side down. And then um the easiest way would probably be if you got a hole puncher and punch out these little holes and like kind of color them in. But what I usually do is I'll um, just take the drill bit I want and just uh, center it in and then just quickly do a firm press while drilling so you have like a little hole and do that to all of them. Then put the base plate over it, the holes you drilled to make sure it all lines up and then just drill through. Now I don't know the exact bit size you're going to need. Um, so, honestly, I just take a piece of hardware to the hardware store, like your bolt, your screws that you used to screw it in with, and just see if it's the same size as whatever thing you're looking at. Um, you can look, I'll probably put in the description what the size is, but I think it's 3 sixteenths. Jeez, I wish I knew, but, um, no, wait, wait. This is a, I use a 1364th, so, huh, I'm not very good at math, but this is a 13 over 64, so that's what I use, but, um, just, I'll post, uh, I'll post the size in the description, but after you do that, you know, you'll draw, do the full bolt holes for both sides, and you're just ready to finish off with sanding and stuff, I'm going to fiberglass this, um, I don't know how to fix this, I. but at least when I've worked, um, when you do the bolt holes, there's a little, sometimes a thin layer of the wood, the bottom layer will peel off a little. So just sand the bottom some more, but we'll go over that in the next video. I'll be fiberglassing, sanding, and probably painting in the next video. But anyway, I hope that helped. Um, hopefully I got all the clips and stuff. And it made sense to y'all. Um, it's been a super busy week, so my apologies if the video doesn't quite make sense. So just in the comment sections below, just um, ask me a question. I usually answer. I check my YouTube thing every day, so I'll get back to you within 24 hours. But um, anyways, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time. Hopefully, the next video does not take as long to make. But yeah, have a good one, guys. See you in the future.
Um, something I forgot to mention is when you're drilling, you want to drill straight down as possible, and it's, it's kind of hard to do sometimes. So if you have one of these, it's called a like drill press. Um, it makes the straightest line possible, straight as a drill possible. Fortunately, mine's kind of broke because it's like a billion years old. But um, have one of these. That's preferable. But, you know, your good old uh, handheld drill works perfectly fine.